the most profound sentiment or awareness of spirituality is said by Jacob in this week's Torah reading. He has a dream at the night after running away from home, after having received the blessing from Isaac, stealing it in a sense from Esau. Isaac intended to give that blessing to Esau. Jacob got it instead by disguising as his brother. Esau finds out and claims out loud that he wants to kill his twin brother. And so with his mother's blessing, Jacob runs in the direction of his mother's family in Haran. And that first night, he goes to sleep and has a dream of angels ascending and descending a ladder. When he wakes up, he says this following statement, Vayomer achen yesh Adonai bamakom hazeh ve'anochi lo yadati. Surely the Lord is present in this place, and I did not know it. If we think about this statement from Jacob, the third of our three patriarchs, we wonder first, how is it that a religious figure in our tradition, arguably one of the three most important figures in all of Jewish history, how could that religious figure not be aware of God's presence all the time, everywhere? What does it mean that he woke up and realized only upon waking that God is there? Don't we know that God is everywhere? And how is it that Jacob was not aware of that? And surely this represents to us, as we all seek spirituality in our lives, it makes us understand that even the greatest of people get caught up in the stress of the moment and the crisis that, that Jacob is going through. Even the daily routine of our lives blind us to the awareness that God is around us. It's only when we take the time, or in Jacob's case, when practically being hit in the face with it, that we become aware that God is all around. The ideal, as this portion comes to teach us, is to be aware of God's presence as much as possible. Because when we are aware of God's presence, it changes us dramatically. Jacob's awareness of God provides him with the assurance and confidence that going to his mother's family is the right decision and it sets the course for future Jewish history. If we, when we have the awareness of God's presence in our lives, it changes our lives dramatically as well for the better. And the ideal would be that we can be aware of God's presence as much as possible. Shabbat Shalom.